Hey, Tor Ralph, how are you doing? Fine, thank you very much, Christina. It's so nice to talk to you here. Yeah, it's a pleasure for me. And did I pronounce your name right or it was wrong? Was the perfect pronunciation, Toralf. It's a Nordic Scandinavian name. Yeah. My parents uh, parents wanted it, so yeah, <laughs> I couldn't choose, but now I live with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's a good one, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, sure. Do you like Do you like your name? <laughs> Now I like my name. In my childhood, it was not so easy in Germany because all the other uh, uh, children uh, had names like Thomas, Michael, and so on. And I was Thoralf. Uh, it's the same uh, today. If uh, I, I make journeys in the in the English speaking world, I ha ever have to 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 uh, declare what, what what means the name Thoralf. But I have a second uh, surname, Frank. That's better in England and USA. I ever every time I say okay. I'm Frank. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of lucky because uh, my name is international. Let's say that it's yeah. a bit all around the world. Maybe people write in a different way, but doesn't matter. It's always the same. So I'm safe with the name at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, let's talk about the factory of art. Uh, for what I understood, uh, you joined the band later because the band started in 1990, but you yeah. enjo joined the band uh, in uh, two, in 2000... Uh... 2002, yeah, nearly, yeah. yeah. So how happened uh, that you became part of the band? Yeah, uh, you said it, uh, all right, um, Factory of Art was founded in 1990, uh, and we have now two uh, founding members in the lineup. That's our keyboarder and second lead singer, Gunther, and our bass player, Ron. Um, from the second lineup, uh, it's, uh, our drummer, Ralle, is in the band and our lead singer, Petri. Um, we were friends all the time. I was a member of another uh, a band project called Grain of Sand, was a little bit industrial uh, 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 music. And... But I wrote one song for the debut album of Factory of Art, Grasp. And um, the guitarist of Factory of Art of uh, the time in the 90s uh, played my guitar and my M's for uh, the recording of the second album. I mean, we were, we were so close this time. And then Factory of Art uh, had a break uh, in 2001, 2002, uh, several members left the band and uh, we talked about uh, come on uh, my band project went down two industries these times and so we ca came together and i uh, uh, um, became a member of the band factory of art um, but to be honest uh, then we uh, played shows not under uh, the name Factory of Art. We founded a twin band project, a cover band project uh, called Factory Undercover. And we uh, played and, and play uh, till today uh, three hours of music we like from ACDC to Van Halen. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's a very good opinion to make money uh, because when we play our own stuff or our own material, it's so much more difficult uh, when we say, okay, we are a cover band. Uh, do you like ACDC? We have some tracks of Rammstein. We have some tracks of Van Halen and so on. It works. Uh, but if you say, yeah, we are factory of art. We come with our own stuff on, uh, stuff on stage. Mm, it's not so easy. And that's why we, in these times, we combine our musical uh, uh, um, ambitions once factory of art. And the second thing is a, the cover band. And in 2019, uh, we decided to try uh, uh, the next step um, for a third album. Factory of Art just released two full-length albums, the Grasp album and the Tempter album. Um, in between, I think there were some EPs and 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 such such stuff, uh, but two albums, and we, we talked uh, about it, and but we could never imagine that it would be uh, uh, successful because uh, if you have a break of twenty years, near twenty years since the last 
release of the of an album uh it's 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 uh, not not so easy to to say okay let's write 10 12 tracks and then it will work um but uh, the last four years were so so good years for us uh because we wrote new material uh we, we, we recorded this uh, uh this material by uh, ourselves and now I'm and my bandmates are very happy because just yesterday we got the uh, final master from uh, our new album from Denmark from from Jacob Hansen and we are so proud of it and we are so happy. Um, now I feel like a real band member of Factory of Art because I recorded the first album as a guitarist. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And uh, when should it be released, the album? Uh, we plan our record release party. We have to do it for our fans and friends uh, uh, for the 6th of June uh, mm -hmm. this year. We have to do such uh, such a lot of things uh, we have to promote uh, we have to we have to uh, prepare uh, uh, the the the, the uh, the pressing of, of CDs and, and, and vinyl and so on. And we have to promote the album and we have to prepare the record release party because we want to make it really big. Um, uh, we, we want to, to, to have success uh, this evening. And uh, that's why we, we think now we are in February, in June, we will release uh, the new album and we hope uh, it will have a little bit of success. Uh, for for me, is a dream if uh, we have good reviews for the album. Uh, the second thing would be nice if some promoters or or Veranstalter, uh, uh, I don't know in English, um, people who uh, uh, create the lineup for festivals, you know. Yeah. Uh, if they say, oh, Factory of Art, yeah, I, I've heard the last album, it's okay, uh, I want to book them. That would be very nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, what, sure. what can you tell about this album musically? It's going to be uh, different from the previous ones. Uh, uh, what can we expect from from? Yeah. Them? Uh, Sure, it's 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 a little bit different from the uh, uh, former stuff uh, because uh, we are twenty years later. Uh, but I think uh, that we um, have the same benchmarks of the band. Um, the the very special thing I told you uh, this: uh, we have the two lead singers of the former lineups now in the actual lineup. Gunther, uh, who uh, was the lead singer on the first album, and Petri, who was what is our lead singer uh, on the second album, means to make the little story very big. We have Bon Scott and Brian Johnson in the lineup, actually. <laughs> but um, we have, uh, sure, other influences uh, 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 on this album. I love it very much. It's not so, so unique uh, uh, styles uh, we have the benchmarks of factory of art but we have some some more progressive things uh, uh, in the songs i think we have three or four tracks longer than seven minutes but we have songs uh, between three and four minutes it's uh, but i think that's the same thing uh, like on, on on the tempter album but it's not a concept album it's uh if you, if I could say it, this is a songwriter album. It means not we 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 play very hard guitars and so on, but um, every one of us uh, thought about the new project, wrote songs. We we we. I'm not a songwriter. I can only imagine uh, 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 and produce riffs. And I go to Gunther, our keyboarder and and second lead singer, and say, Hey, Gunther, I'm here. Uh, here are my riffs make a song out of it yeah um petri our lead singer had so great ideas for the lyric lyrics uh, he wrote all the ly lyrics uh all the lyrics that, uh, for for the songs uh sometimes i'm only wondering about my friend petri and i think by myself uh what going on what's going on in his head yeah in his mind but uh 
he wrote the lyrics for the Tempter album too. That's why that's not so very different. But it's new stuff, and you will hear new stuff, but with the same benchmarks, with a very powerful, massive drum, with a blah, rolling bass guitar. I hope with good guitar works from me. And you will hear the voices of the two Factory of Art lead singers. Um, a little bit... Uh, magic from the from the keyboards and synthesizers you find there too but it's in my opinion very great i can't wait to hear them but <laughs> yeah. uh, how does uh, in the factory of heart the song start i mean when you create create cre oh i'm just <laughs> getting my tongue <laughs> twist when you create uh, uh, music all together is the singer with the lyrics? Is uh, a riff of guitar that start, or who is the the one that is uh, the first one putting down uh, on the table and uh, listen to this? Mm, we we have different ways. Uh, Ron, our bass player, uh, he is a he is a artist who works alone. Uh, you never will hear a, a song project of Ron before. It, he had finished finished it. I'm the type. I I just told you that I have two or three riffs and think yeah it could be it could be very good for the intro could be good for for the chorus uh, and then I need the help of my bandmates. Uh, we uh, uh, Petri, our lead singer, um, is a is a really fanboy <laughs> of, of of the the great metal band and the great metal band singers, and he has melodies. Uh, uh, voice melodies in his head you can imagine i play a riff and think ah oh, sounds great but i i've got no idea what to sing on it he said just give me a minute and he has some ideas um to be honest we have uh we we took some very old ideas uh from 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 uh our our own band history from 1995 and 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 we 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 worked on it and we adapted it for the new album um some of the former band members uh which were listening this new stuff said oh i know this riff or i know this idea but it's 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 great it's modern so we have a a mixture of different uh, uh working styles uh ron works alone i'm a team player because i can't work alone <laughs> and uh petri has all these things in mind um the the i think a little bit our our drummer Ralle, uh, he's a special guy. He's a, a good friend of mine. Not not this, this is a kind of problem, but uh, he recorded uh, the uh, um, drum files alone in our rehearsal room. He he bought uh, several technic technical equipment and so on. Uh, I think he played some of the tracks two hundred times before he was uh, uh, very, uh, before, before he thought, okay, it's good enough. And I think uh, Ralle think about some moves on the drums when he plays in this, this moment. The best musician and the best compositor in our band is Gunther, our keyboarder and second lead singer. He's a great, uh, he, he can imagine if I play a riff or or, or or Petri sings a melody, he can imagine, oh yeah, this this could be a song or, or, or a verse or a chorus or such on. And he helped me too uh, to find some 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 licks for the guitar solos. Uh, he's a very good musician. And that's why we decided to record uh, the new album by ourselves today it's not a technical problem you have all what, yeah. what you need uh, on your computer yeah um but you need a, a person uh, who hears very good and 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 who can imagine okay that would be sound right or not um and so we decided Gunther, you are our recording engineer. You will make it. Uh, we, we recorded it uh, uh, in the house of our bass player, um, uh, and we we sent the 
uh, final recorded files uh, to the Hansen Studios in Denmark. We were very proud that he said, okay, I like it. Uh, let's make it. And he worked with bands like Volbeat and, and, and uh, so on. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a great person in our, yeah. in our uh, business. And now we are very happy that he wrote us, sent you today the last master files. Hope you uh, enjoy it. Or, uh, I have to hear it. I uh, uh, didn't uh, do it uh, uh, till this time. Um, I have to take today or tomorrow one or two hours to listen or to listen. check it out yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah yeah i think this was a big answer but <laughs> yeah yeah it, it was it was a good one it was interesting because uh, every band or every musician uh use different technique as its own way to write music uh, uh yeah. well of course Every single person has its way to write music, to to play. Uh, but when it's a band, uh, it's always interesting to see uh, how it works. What are the dynamics? Uh, yeah. Because it's, uh, you know, we listen to the final prod products and uh, we don't know what happened in the in the, yeah. in the writing process, uh, in the in the recording so it's always interesting to know how it works but uh, talking about live music um, uh, i think that i saw that you have a few gigs coming yeah and uh, they are all in germany am yeah. i right yeah <laughs> we are <laughs> we are not <laughs> not yet uh not an international band because it's a uh, we, we at the moment, we do all the management and promotion at our own risk. Um, that's why um, it's 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 so difficult to 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 make shows uh, outside of Germany. Um, the metal scene here in Saxony, we are, we come from Leipzig in Eastern uh, Germany, uh, is not so big uh, that we could say, oh yeah, let's play this weekend there, there, there. Uh, uh, Marco, our manager, has to work very hard to to create uh, new shows for us, but he is successful. We play now several shows. Um, um, the next three ones will be uh, shows with our cover band, Factory Undercover. Uh, it's not so bad because uh, it's easier to play. <laughs> and um, to be honest, it's uh, a good opinion to make money. We yeah. need money for for uh, the preparation of our record release uh, to 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 make make the album finally with 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 uh, DVD uh, CD and 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 so on. Um, the next shows in summer we had some little festival gigs as Factory of Art, 40, 45 minutes. Uh, not we are not the main act, but uh, I think so. 6 or 7 p.m., 40 minutes, it's okay, and we, we will see how it works. We are, uh, we could be glad that it works so, because it's very hard for, for not so well-known bands like us uh, to, to, to uh, have enough shows or gigs. Uh, it's not so easy. If you are a DJ in, in Eastern Germany, it's so much easier. Uh, in German, Germany, uh, in Eastern Germany, uh, Electronic music is the number one, yeah. Uh, uh, DJs and 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 rave and and techno and so on. Um, I think clubs or venues where where uh, metal bands can play uh, every week, oh, 10, 12 venues in in Saxony. We had. It's it's a hard job. I think it's everywhere uh, a hard job, uh, but uh, here in Eastern Germany, it's a little bit special. There are some clubs, and and well, everyone wants to play there. Yeah. What about the uh, other part of Germany? Is also uh, more Germany. difficult to play, or uh, or is it more easy? Uh, I think for metal bands there, it's uh, easier to play in Western Germany. We they have they have a, a, a bigger tradition in in 
Eastern Germany, we have, if you, if you count Berlin to East Germany, we have Rammstein. <laughs> uh, we have some um, good and very good bands like Dissolution, Depressive Age, and so on. If you look to Western Germany, uh, except Scorpions, uh, Grave Digger, uh, uh, and so on, Destruction, uh, it's, an, it's another tradition. It's a little bit easier to play there, but uh, it's not so easy to come uh, like like us from, from Eastern Germany and say, hey, we want to play it here. What's what's good? What's go going on? Um, I think it's a challenge for our manager, Marco, okay. if the, the new album will be released to make some deals there in Western Germany. But it's a little bit, a little bit easier than here in our home. Yeah. It's curious okay. to know how it works in other countries because uh, I'm Italian and I live in Finland. So, okay. Uh, okay. It Italy and Finland are very different. Uh, in Finland, there is more opportunity to play also for uh, smaller bands. Uh, th they can uh, travel all, all around Finland and uh, do their yeah. gigs. Uh, of course, it's going to 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 take money because uh, the distance can be big uh, but still there is opportunity to to go on the stage and uh, and yeah. make people know about your music uh, in italy on the other hand uh, if we <laughs> yeah. don't take in consideration uh, the the biggest cities like uh, milan or rome i think the most of the other places yeah, it's it's not easy because it's uh, you know metal is uh, quite underground compared yeah. to everything else. While in Finland, metal, uh, well, is still we can talk about underground, but not that much. Uh, they play metal on the normal radio. Also, I'm not yeah. talking about extreme metal, but still, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we talk about pop radio. Sometimes there is some metal coming up. And, oh, now it's playing this. So it, <laughs> yeah. it's more normal. <laughs> there is not that, yeah. uh, that uh, I don't know if it's a uh, um, pre prejudice or uh, what's, what we can talk about when it comes, for example, in Italy with metal. That this uh, this idea that uh, metal is not music uh, is satanic and... Uh, yeah and sure. all the bullshit that, that they say so it's 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 quite interesting because you know i had this uh, image of germany germany without knowing that there is this different dif differences yeah. between eastern and western germany uh that yeah it's it's easy to play in germany i was thinking <laughs> but it's not okay. No, 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 it's not. But uh, I think there is a great difference between Italy and, and, and Scandinavia too, I think. What's mean harder music? Uh, um, I know some good Italian bands and I know that Italia has some good festivals. I saw Queensryche in, in but I, ah, not, I don't remember the name. It's, a, it's an open air festival on a marketplace in an old Italian city, but I don't know exactly the name of the city. Uh, it was so, so surprising for me we were there on holidays and thought okay red wine and so on and i i listened what what what's that what queens right italy and we looked around the corner and there were yeah but um we here in germany look a little bit um very uh, we look very interested uh, in the metal scene uh, in scandinavia finland norway sweden there are so many so talented bands there. Uh, if you, if, if I told you that Petri is a, a, a fanboy, he 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 knows uh, every week when we have rehearsal, he comes and did you hear the new album of ba 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 ba? I said I don't know the name, so I really hear <laughs> didn't hear the new album. Uh, it's it's so great, but um, um, I think. Uh, we will try it here in Germany. I think Czech Republic or Poland may be another opportunity um, to to play gigs. But we would be happy if it will, would work in Eastern Germany. Uh, from from the uh, uh, Ostsee means uh, ours in English our our little ocean uh, Baltic Sea from the Baltic Sea to yeah. to the 
Gebirge to, to the mountains. Uh, and then we try uh, to, to cooperate with other bands to play shows together. Uh, we have friends in Western Germany and we told, okay, we play a show with you together in your hometown, come to Leipzig, we play a show here. So it will work, I think. Um, <clears throat> and all depends uh, uh, on the success or the non-success of our new album. Uh, it is so uh, astonishing for us that our elder material, uh, from the Grasp and the, the Tempter album uh, becomes a renaissance now. Uh, Marco, our manager, uh, sent it to you, to other uh, uh, guys uh, in the world, and they all say, okay, very nice. The album is elder, older than 21 or 22 years. Yeah, it's the stuff from two decades before, uh, but it seems to be good, okay? Uh, and that's so so we try it we 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 make the people uh, uh remembering the band factory of art and then in june we release a new album and we hope that it yeah will give an effect to to make it for us possible uh, to to play these shows uh, to 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 answer your question the next three shows will be in smaller clubs as a cover band but it's okay for us and in June and and in uh, in the summer we will play three or four uh, festival gigs together with other bands. Gods of Metal <laughs> called one. I think not that we are just gods of metal, but uh, we are not so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's hope that you will get more more show and uh, in Germany and you know, also in other country around Germany because then it's. Uh, it's not that a complex uh, yeah it's driving maybe or taking a flight but if uh, you know you are lucky because you are in the middle of Europe so it's more yeah. easy to move uh, compared to for example living in Finland is um, a bit more complex if, if someone wants to to play somewhere else uh, but let, let me ask you something uh, 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 in this area uh, in Finland are there many venues where metal bands can play can have shows yeah yeah um i will say that uh, uh when i moved to finland uh, 10 years ago there, there yeah. were many of those uh place where where band were playing when we mm -hmm. are talk talking about rock metal bands uh, then I don't know what happened. 2018 was the year that uh, a lot of clubs closed the door. Okay. And uh, there was more like, uh, I think that the metal had, because um, I think 2006, uh, when Lordi won Eurovision, yeah. I think that there was a hype about metal and then also before in the early 2000 uh, if we think about um, him then it came the Rasmus uh, and uh, uh, then Nightwish uh, and so on yeah. it uh, the children of bodom it just put the Finnish metal uh, re really high and people in Finland, I think, that were listening a lot of metal at that time. I'm not sure I wasn't here, but th that's what I think. Maybe someone that is uh, watching this uh, episode of Metal Pizza can write down and say their opinion if they were living in Finland at the time. <laughs> but uh, yeah. uh, then uh, when I came here, uh, the uh, Finnish rap music scene starts to to be bigger and uh, in a moment every everybody were listening more to rap and yeah. uh, so that that kind of cut off <laughs> a bit okay. of opportunity for bands there were i remember going to some gigs and there were really few people watching the bands and there were yeah. really good bands so it was yeah. a really yeah. also, it's I, also I think... now i remember uh, um last away uh, last last october um there was this gig there were three really good bands different band uh there was this uh 
uh, extreme metal called mm -hmm. Guardian, really technical and really amazing on the, on the stage. Then there was this uh, a folk band called Folk Rim, and then yeah. there was uh, a Psych Work. Okay. And uh, I was expecting a lot of people because of Psych Work, but there were not many, and I was like surprised why there are not many people. And the gig was super from all three yeah. bands. So I was like thinking, what's going on? But then sometimes they they are playing some uh, hardcore bands, and mm -hmm. uh, then it's full. And yeah, yeah. And I'm like, uh, why not with other genres? What's going on? Uh, is now like hardcore higher here, or what? What's going on? But generally in Finland, still metal is. Uh, it's good. I mean, uh, the, the, there are a lot of festivals during all the summer, uh, yeah. and there are a lot of uh, bigger and smaller clubs where a band can play. Yeah. So I suggest you maybe to to check uh, a bit uh, what's the situation. Maybe more in the you know Helsinki area is more easy. Uh, mm. Someone travel to see if. There is opportunity to play and see what band are 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 active and maybe organize something together. And it it mm. could be something good. Okay, it's it's interesting because for us in Germany, uh, bands from Finland are so exciting and and innovative. Uh, I know Waltari from from twenty five years ago or Clawfinger and so on. Uh, uh, it's it's. Uh, it, it are great bands with yeah with the success in in Europe. Uh, that's why uh, Scandinavia seems to be a, a, a good area for hard or metal bands. And if you if you hear, hear the production of the albums, it's, it's so so great. Modern guitar sounds, drum sounds, bass, and so on. Uh, it's it's interesting, but uh, we have to try it here in Germany. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. And uh, yeah, it's like op opening a bit my eyes uh, because I was thinking always about the Germany. Yeah, there is a lot of metal going on, but now you are saying that it's not like this. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, it's true, but it's not here in, in Leipzig and in our home uh, town and our area. Um, in the western part of Germany, it's it's uh, uh, more of this. There are the big festivals like uh, Rock am Ring, Rock and Park, and so on. Yeah. Um, we have some mm, smaller festivals. Uh, the very very great festivals here uh, in eastern Germany are techno or pop and rock festivals. Okay, okay. What is? But yeah, and then there are some bands nowadays that are mixing metal with uh, electronical. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. For example, from Germany, Electric Callboy came yeah. to my mind that they are <laughs> the combination of the extreme metal and the uh, Eurodance. <laughs> it's uh, it's something uh, for me growing up, uh, you know, listening also to Eurodance, because when I was a kid, I didn't know what is metal, what is Eurodance. I was listening, whatever it was coming Sure, yeah, but now the, the times are good for for experimentations uh, for 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 bands. Nothing is forbidden. Uh, we musically grew up in very true metal times, but then came came uh, the time end of the nineties uh, 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 in the last century with the crossover bands like uh, Fear Factory, uh, Biohazard, and so on. Uh, that that was uh, uh, a good. Uh, uh, thing for for in my uh, opinion it was a good uh, thing for the for the hard uh, music genre uh, i think now everything is possible in our genre and uh, if it's good it will work yeah and that's true but now i'm curious to know how did you get into metal when did you start to listen to heavier music oh uh, i'm personally uh, uh, had my first single um, as I was a boy and at the age of 11 years it was Slate hard guitars very uh, powerful lead vocals uh, that was my thing I'm an I'm an ACDC fan uh, since 
a lot of years. Um, uh, and that's that was, yeah, in, in, in a time in my life uh, where my uh, musical thinking began uh, or started. Uh, but I I'm a fan of classical music too because I learned to play the violin for 12 years. I know uh, classic stuff and uh, to be honest, I'm not working. Uh, uh, I, I'm just working uh, in in uh, and make my money by profession in classical music and metal music and hard music is my hobby. Uh, uh, it's my uh, 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 yeah, my lovely hobby, or my my favorite hobby, and so uh, I have these two parts. I listen to metal and and progressive rock. I love these old guys from uh, Genesis, Jethro Tull, this stuff from the seventies. Uh, I can understand the songs of Rush uh, from Canada, um, but I'm I'm. Uh, 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 listening to to classical music to bach and 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 great violin concertos and so on um for me uh, the most of our influences come from our lead singer petri i told you that he every week has some tips for us you should listen to this um and uh, I, I i'm interested in new music uh still today uh, it's not so that I say I'm an, an ACDC fan, that's enough for me. No, I'm interested in to, to uh, uh, hear new music. I'm I'm wondering about the ideas of other musicians. It's uh, uh, so so great for me. I'm it's it's astonishing for me. What 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 young guys from 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 Scandinavia? Uh, what 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 that they have for 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 musical ideas and what, how technical they can play that's that's yeah. very interesting uh but i'm a great fan of of uh, great guitarists not only technical uh, uh virtuosos um i'm a great fan of gary moore uh, uh such a guitar tone wow uh, it's a uh, very very fantastic uh, but i'm listening to the modern guitarists too um um, I'm not such a great great fan of these te technicians like Joe Satriani, Steve Vai. I'm sure I know they are fantastic gods on their instrument, but I love, for example, Paul Gilbert a little bit more from Mr. Big and so on. He can shredder too, but uh, he has some, some, for me, some greater musical ideas. But um, I started to hear hard music at the age of 11. And it never ended. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a great, I'm a great uh, fan of Rammstein. It's in in Germany uh, at these times not so politically correct. There's a, a little bit beef uh, um, uh, here because of uh, Till Lindemann's uh, behaviors uh, here. There, but uh, the music is great. To make a short story longer. Uh, in my former band project, Rain of Sand, I had the opinion and the chance we played two shows at lo as local support with Rammstein in Leipzig. Um, they had, hadn't uh, uh, released an album uh, these times, uh, but the Herzeleit uh, uh, album was recorded. They played two shows in Leipzig and they looked for an, for an, for an uh, local support and we were the chosen ones to play these two shows it, it, it was if i think uh yet with with uh, uh, the history of the band when i look uh, now i have to pay 150 euros to see the boys on stage uh 30 or 25 years ago i played we we, we sat together in the backstage room oh yeah yeah so it goes <laughs> <laughs> i think that the time is the biggest name from germany maybe uh, at yeah. least uh, if you think about the people, also people that are not into metal, they know who Rammstein is. So yeah. that's uh, that's something uh, impressive. Uh, every time that I think about a metal band that uh, get this big, that uh, even people that are not into metal know their music, it's yeah. like uh, a big wow because it's uh, it's 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 not easy so it's it will be interesting to know how how it happened how 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 they work 
to to get there but yeah it's more it's more difficult to get to to talk with a bigger band yeah yeah but not uh, they <laughs> they play uh, uh, they are very clever and unique style uh, through all these albums uh, it's, it's so 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 great to have an idea to have a musical idea uh, you can follow um the guitar sound of Rammstein is fabulous on album but live too i've been in vienna last summer uh, we we had two tickets uh, uh, for for the show there Uh, how how it works in a stadium we had not the best tickets we we were uh, on the on the opposite side of the stage the guitars went so in my ears in in the whole body it was so great uh, it's 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 very amazing and it's a uh, very and and an, very interesting story and it, it's very impressive you said it uh yeah. it's very impressive uh i know them as a very good underground band now they are stars you may say uh, with with all the good and uh, bad things with yeah. money and success but with trouble in in, in in the public uh but uh it's it's very impressive and for germany it's very um, interesting fact it's, The whole world knows, I think, uh, older music fans all over the world know the Scorpions, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but, it's, but... Uh, the, the difference is that Rammstein sing, they, they song are in German. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, every time that, you know, a band that are singing not in English make it yeah. on, on outside yeah, yeah, sure. of the country is like wow <laughs> yeah, yeah. we had it in germany we had it, i think only three times i know uh, uh, uh just uh tokyo hotel yeah you know the name tokyo hotels or smarty boys yeah yeah, now, yeah i remember uh, uh, from eastern part of germany uh and uh einstürzende neubauten is uh, another project nina hagen uh okay but, okay yeah uh German language is not the best thing, I think, uh, for 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 from the rock music styles. But Rammstein does it very very clever. The lyrics of Till Lindemann, uh, I studied German and Latin languages. Uh, the lyrics of Till Lindemann are great. They are scary but great. Yeah, yeah, uh, he knows what he's doing. But uh, uh, let's get back to, you You say that you work with classical music. So what do you do? I'm the director of a boarding house school where a classical choir boys uh, uh, are, are in school and, and in, in uh, musical education. Okay. Also, I'm, nice. I'm not a, a musical director, but a pedagogical director. Uh, and uh, that's is a very unique job for me i do it uh, now for i can do it for nearly 20 years uh, that's why i know very good the music of bach mendelssohn and so on the great choral works and my alter ego uh, factory of art and uh, a musician uh, this i i do I separate these two things in my life, my profession uh, there in the classical uh, genre and my my alter ego life uh, with a with a hard a rock or a power metal band. Uh, but it uh, works very good. And for me, it's uh, uh, the one thing, the classical thing, the, the boarding house school, uh, a unique opportunity, a unique way to uh, earn my money. It's necessary. And my band is a necessary thing for my life, for my private life. Yeah, yeah. And it's always, you know, about music. And I think that the classical music and the metal music are quite uh, relate in a way. Yeah. If we think about uh, all the... Um, Oh, that the word the composition <laughs> the composition yeah. that that were done that they are insane and if you put in music and if you put it in a metal key 
yeah, they sound still bad as like the composition itself. Uh, thinking about uh, Vivaldi and Le Quattro Stagioni, it's yeah. uh, uh, it's Mozart and uh, Magical Flute, always in English. I know the the, the name yeah. in in Italian. Uh, so and also I think that uh, many of uh, metal musician uh, study uh, classical music and it's i think it's specific. important to to know it uh, because it's it get, it can give so much uh, and it's uh, it's always good to listen I, I i like sometimes to put some mozart mozart is my my favorite one but yeah vivaldi and beethoven then they they came along quite well <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's it's a, a very good thing. I I can understand what what you mean. For me, it's uh, the same thing. Um, if I hear classical music, I I uh, uh, can can feel the the thoughts and the musical intelligence in this thing. But for me, the same effect uh, uh, happens if I plug my guitar in the amp and make boom. It's the same uh, uh, string yeah. I play. <laughs> And that's for me. It's, 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 a, it's a way to live, to to a way to enjoy music on this on the on the other yeah, side. That's true. But now let's get to my jar of uh, random topics and let's see what we are going to get today. So what we are going to talk is, um, I feel this this one is a good animals. Um, so, do you have any animal at home, any pet? Animals? Yeah. You mean pets, yeah? Yeah. Um, in our house live two cats, two girlies. Um, and uh, that's a very nice thing to have them. To, to, they are uh, a little bit, I don't know the English word, uh, we are to lovely with them they are a little bit uh over i don't, don't know the english word. Uh, or yeah maybe maybe they feel too much love from us and uh, are a little bit okay. princess, yeah? over affective maybe yeah maybe <laughs> sure well, I... but uh two princesses you, you you know uh they they really exactly know what they want uh but uh we love them very much. Two cats. Yeah. We also have here two cats. And this morning they were screaming in my ear. So I had to wake up and give them food because they pretend. <laughs> they pretend because they are the buses and I'm the the serf. <laughs> it's the same thing here. They, they just want... Are, uh, like um, um let's say normal cats or uh, breed cats uh, normal cats european yeah. normal cats uh, uh we have a, a very very big house because uh, uh we are a great family but um our children now live uh, uh in leipzig or berlin uh now the house is very uh, big a little bit too big and we thought okay um two cats would be nice uh, and that's the truth. It works. Yeah. How old are those cats? Three years and two months, I think. They are still young. <laughs> oh, yes, girlies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and what's your favorite animal? Oh, Ooh, it's not so easy to say. My favorite animal. I think I like. Black panthers, so elegant, uh, tears, uh, uh, animals, and um, I like. Yeah, I, I, I think a black panther is a very good symbol, and a, it's a and unique animal. Yeah, and uh, if you if we think about uh, uh, after we die, if there is another life after. And you could choose an animal to be in the next life. Uh, what animal would you choose? I would choose a cat. 
Sure. Same. Same. <laughs> I I was <laughs> like, I would like to be a cat, a fat one, loved that has everything that wants, that doesn't need to do yeah. anything except to be the the king or the queen. It depends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, sleeping twenty hours a day and be loved for that too. It's would be nice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I, I could, if I could choose, I would choose to be a cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also was thinking about the capybara. Looks like a quite chilly animal that doesn't give a fuck about any any anything else and just live his life. And everybody is like respecting that animal for for some reason so it's really interesting <laughs> but the cat is uh is the the the, ki the king or the queen of the of the owl <laughs> so it is and that would be nice in my second life yeah yeah mm. to enjoy to enjoy to relax a bit <laughs> but yes, now sure. let's get another another topic uh, and let's see what we get i think this one embarrassing moment um, so <laughs> What's the most embarrassing moment of your life, if you can tell us? Uh, what what means? Uh, in, uh, what's the sense uh, 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 of embarrassing? So, something that you did that you feel a sh shame after. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm. Mm, I have to think. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> Sometimes you try to to forget there those. <laughs> there, there are not so many moments. I think uh, to be uh, uh, to 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 go back to to my musical career, we played a, a show in in Magdeburg, a city uh, uh, in the near of Berlin, here in eastern Germany, and I play some. Ibanez guitars uh, with Floyd Rose tremolo and I forgot to adjust the I don't know exactly uh, uh, some technical pieces I didn't adjust it and we played uh, a cover show and uh, the song was uh, from, from Ronnie James Dio Holy Diver it's so an iconic riff like Highway to Hell or, or uh, you must play it right and I started to play and my strings my tunes went down and up uh, because i didn't adjust it 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 sounded so so terrifying petri our singer tried to uh, 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 shout it, it it wasn't possible and there were uh, there, there were in the in, in the public where four or five young guys who were interested uh, in us uh, till this moment they laughed uh, 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 they cried uh, and laughed and it, it it was it was a shame uh, because I know I'm responsible for that because I'm not thought about uh, to make it right it it sounds so horrible uh, that was the most embarrassing moment uh, moment in at stage in my private life uh, I I try very hard to avoid embarrassing moments yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know everybody experienced some some of those at some point in life on the stage off stage whatever but now it's the moment uh, of uh, talking about the most important thing in the world that is pizza okay so, <laughs> do you like pizza yeah i like pizza very much um I'm a great fan of Italian pizza, sure, uh, but I like American pizza too. Uh, uh, not not so bad. Uh, I had the opportunity with my in my professional life uh, to be in 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 uh, Australia uh, and to to order pizza with salt crocodile. Okay, how was it? But I can't recommended okay. it's uh, it's horrible uh the tra that traditional pizza is uh, very good and i prefer um uh tuna pizza okay I so tuna it. is your favorite one 
yeah so a classic it's just tuna or do you like also tuna and uh, some onions Yeah, some onions, okay, but tuna is the most important thing. Yeah. And I love American pizza with with this cheese in the, you know, in the, the crust. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, good. But uh, now there is uh, one ingredient that divide the world in two. And it's uh, pineapple, ananas. So what do you think? Does it belong on, on pizza or not? I know that in Italy now uh, the discussion is new in, 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 in progress. Uh, I think uh, pineapple is not a, a very, very true uh, uh, ingredients for a pizza. But if I uh, get a piece of pizza Hawaii, I don't say no. Uh, I'm not a fundamentalist uh, pizza maker. Um, I think it's, um, but I think it's a, it's a little bit strange thing. I would yeah. not, uh, it's not, for, not forbidden, but I think it's not necessary. Yeah, yeah. And where did you eat the best pizza ever? The best pizza ever. Ooh, I have to think. We have a, a I think that, that most of the uh, uh, pizza bakeries here in Germany make very good pizza. But the best pizza I had in New York City, in Manhattan, right. there. Uh, is a is a franchise uh, uh, pizza uh, uh, company. I forgot the name, but it it was very very tasty. Okay, so you are the second one that is mentioning uh, uh, a pizza place in New York, <laughs> or maybe the third. So, but I, I know that uh, they are known for the New York pizza that is yeah. different from Italian pizza. So maybe one day if I will go to New York, I will have to taste and see how is this famous uh, New York pizza. And the second best pizza I had in Napoli, sure. Yeah. We've been there uh, to visit Pompeii and 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 uh, Ercolano and uh, Capri, sure. And there, the Pizza Margarita is... A, I think the best in the world. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because it's uh, the origin of the thing. Yeah, I, I think. that's true. That's true. Yeah. But now let's go to the question that the previous guest left. And let's see what, what the, the guest asked. So the question is, have you ever heard of a classless act? And if not, why not? It's a band. <laughs> This class, <laughs> classless, classless act. Classless act. What means that? I don't know what means it. It's it's a band from uh, the United States. Oh, I never I heard about. Oh, uh, I I have to ask my lead singer Petri if you know or knows it, but I don't know. So yeah, please. yeah. So you can go and have a listen. Maybe I also have because I have heard the name. But I never listen yeah. to to nothing, so I also have to to give a listen since uh, this guest uh, suggested. <laughs> but now it's your time to leave a question. Whatever it can be, whatever. Okay, uh, then I would ask other musicians: What do you prefer, instrumental music or songs with lead vocals? What okay. is more interesting? It's a good one. Let's see what the next guest will will answer about this. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we are at the end of this uh, episode of Metal Pizza. So first of all, thank you for thank you for being my guest. It was really nice to to have a chat with you. And um, do you like to say something uh, to people that are watching or listening? to this this episode first of all yeah first of all christina very special thank to you it was a great pleasure for me too and sure i have to promote my band factory of art you will find us uh sure on our website uh, factory of art band you will find our older music on 
all these streaming platforms, Deezer, Spotify, and so on, on Facebook, Factory of Art Band, um, Instagram, Factory of Art Band. And sure, I hope if we will release our new album, Back to Life, uh, you will listen it. You have the chance to hear the new material. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>